Welcome folks. I wanted to give uh, another example of, of a group. So we defined groups together in the last video. And then we talked through this example of the integers equipped with addition, where the identity was zero, because adding zero to any integer doesn't change it. And the inverse of an element was just its negative, because an element added to its negative always gave us zero. Let me give you another example of a group. OK, let's look at the real numbers um, excluding 0. So I put this subscript not equal to 0 since I'm not allowing 0. So this is the real numbers. Excluding 0. Any guesses what operation I could equip this set with to make it a group? Like what, what symbol am I going to write as the operation? Any guesses? Multiplication, that's correct. Okay, that's going to be our operation. Given any two numbers, we can multiply them together. So if I take two, um, non-zero reals, I can map them to A times B. So it is the case that any two non-zero numbers, if you multiply them, you get another non-zero number. OK. Let's keep with the style of binary operation in blue. Let's talk about associativity. Associativity is not that different than what I've written in the definition, because my definition was in multiplicative notation. And here in this group, you know, I, I'm happen to be using multiplication as my operation. So associativity, you can check that for any real numbers A, B, and C. A times B, then multiplied by C, is the same as B times C, then with A multiplied up front. Okay. What do you think the identity is? Anyone? One. One, correct. Um, that's since A times one is equal to A, which is equal to one times A for all um, non-zero reals, right? Take any non-zero real number, multiply it by one, and you don't change anything. And then what is the inverse of an element A? It, itself. Uh, that's not quite right. The inverse of an element is not, not quite itself. It's one over oh, itself. One over A. Yeah, one over A. Since if I combine one over A with A, I just get the identity in either order. Um, right. So one, one interesting point is you need to figure out what the identity is before you can look for inverses, right? Um, yeah. Some elements have themselves as inverses. So there are exactly two elements in this group that are their own inverse. Can anyone think of a one or both of those elements? So what um, elements in this group are their own inverse? Any guesses? One. One. And there's one other. Zero? No, no, zero is not a part of it. Zero is not even in this group. One and negative one. 
Yeah, because negative one times negative one is equal to one. Um, the identity is always its own inverse. Um, Public questions about this group? Thanks so much. <laughs>